let's create a very simple metal shader. Now, when we're creating any sort of a metal, the first thing that we always want to keep in mind is what sort of a metal we are creating. And that is always a good thing to have a reference image. So since we want to create a very basic metal material, this is what I'm going to start off. In here, in this image, I have some pipes that are some sort of a metal. It's either aluminium or maybe it's iron. It's just brushed metal. So if we take a look at this, what we can notice is a couple of things. The first would be where the reflections are the brightest and what color we have in there. And here we can see we have black color in all of the reflections. And the second thing would be to notice what sort of a reflections do we have and are they blurred or are they very sharp? So here, like I said, we can see that we have a black color on every place where we have all of this uh, reflecting of each other. And we have reflections that are very strong, but blurred. So let's see how that transfers into our scene. So I'm going to turn on my uh, interactive shader or interactive rendering. I'm going to open up my material editor and in here, I'm just going to rename this material metal clean. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is play with the diffuse. For the diffuse, like we said, we want to use something very dark. So I'm going to use pure black. There we go. Now, in general, with metals, what you want to do is you want to have a dark diffuse or a black diffuse. Now, the thing with metals is that all of its color and all of its reflectivity is derived from the reflect option over here. So if I go in and increase the reflectivity to the maximum, right away, I'm going to get this very, very reflective surface. Now, it doesn't actually look like metal. The reason for this is that metal has a very high uh, angle of reflection or index of reflection. That means we need to increase the IOR. So by clicking on this L, I can unlock my IOR. So if I increase this thing to 10, now we can see that this looks like a very, very clean mirror. But also what I can do is I can just turn off the Fresnel reflection and this will really emphasize this look that we have over here. Now, the thing that you need to also address is that if you're using this approach, this is not 100% correct because there is a very small thing you need to address. And that is that metals, when they come near the edge, they start to get a bit more reflective. And what we can do to address this is that in the reflection, we can kind of play around with this by using a fall off map. But if you're using V-Ray next, what you have here is this option where it says metalness. Now, metalness basically controls the reflection model for the material from dialectic uh, metals. Dialectic means uh, materials that don't or materials that transfer electricity, which in our case is metals. So if you increase this to one, you're basically now making this reflection be very correct when it's a metal. So this is also a very viable work uh, flow when you're using PBR textures. But for now, I'm going to reduce this back to zero. And we're going to start uh, playing around with uh, this. Having this, I'm going to revert back to my image that I have for the reference. I'm going to zoom in here and see what I can change. So the first thing that I want to change is the reflective or the reflection glossiness. 
So if I go in here and reduce this to maybe something like very uh, glossy, like 0 0.7, this is going to give me a very similar result to what I have here. I think it might even be a bit more. So let's try even lower, 0 0.6. I think this is not bad, but I'm actually going to go back to 0 0.7. And like this, we're getting very, very close to what we're seeing here. Now, the only other thing that we can do here is or address is one other thing. Namely, depending on the shape of the model that you have, you might want to address what sort of or what type of a reflection you're going to get on your uh, render. In this case, since these are elongated pipes, what is happening here, we're, get, uh, we're going to get some elongation along the uh, glossy elements of your shader. So how do we do this or how do we see this on our shader? Well, that is where we're going to go down to where it says in BRDF and in here by default if you're using the V-Ray Next version this is, or basically anything after V-Ray 3.4 I think it was when they introduced the GGX micro faucet GTR uh, type of reflection uh, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go over in the anistrophy option and in here if I go 0.5 and you take a look at the reflections, what you're noticing is that we are getting a bit of an elongation on the places where you can see the glossy effect. Now, we can further control which axes we want this uh, effect to be seen. So if we go X, that is going to go up and down. If we go uh, Y, we're going to get a bit of a twirly effect to our reflections. If we go down to back to Z, we're getting the, uh, this effect. But we can also manually rotate it to whatever angle that we want. So if we go uh, 45 here, we can see that now this thing is angled at 45. We get it down to 90 and we get uh, our reflection to look something like this. So that will deal with how this uh, reflection is going to look like. Now, if I take another look at my second type of uh, metal. So this is just a simple um, iron plate or metal plate. If we take a look at here, we're going to notice something interesting. And that is going to be that the fact that this thing has some variance in the color. Now, when you're using metals for variance in the color, you need to understand that this does not come from the diffuse. The diffuse will stay the same. So in order to get that variant, what we need to do is we need to play with the reflection. So, for example, just to showcase this, Right now, we have a very reflective surface, so it's 100% reflective. Now, if I reduce this reflection a bit, you're going to notice that uh, as I reduce the reflective level, more of this diffuse is coming back. So if I go all the way back, we're going to see a lot of more of that uh, black coming in. But if I go back down to make it more reflective and I input some color in here, you're going to see that that color starts to get into our scene. Now, later on, we're going to see how to control this thing uh, even uh, more de in more details. But for now, I'm just going to make it reflective. I'm going to make it black and white for now. Click OK. And instead of trying to get this thing to go where we want it by uh, just sliding it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the dirt maps that we uh, previously created. And in here, I'm going to use something like this. As you can see, this is just a texture, very similar to what you're seeing here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that texture and I'm going to slide it right into my reflection slot right there. And 
right now you can see that that changed the look of my shader. If I go in here, increase the tiling a bit. Let's try two by two. There we go. Now we're getting a very, very similar result to what we're seeing here. But also I can call this thing finished as it is. But what I can do also is take or copy what I just added in the reflection or take this map from the reflection, right click, copy it and paste it down into the glossy effect as well. So paste it in here. And this will give you this sort of a result. Now, if you want to have uh, this thing, again, be much more reflective, what you can do is in the glossy effect, just go in here, go down to the output and just invert this result. So this will make it so that you have some of these spots be very uh, glossy and the others to be less glossy. So this is giving you a much more realistic metal look, as you can uh, notice over here. But again, if you want to have a very clean finish, you can just remove the glossy map and you're going to have a very clean effect. Also, if you notice over here, we have the BRDF anistrophy still at 0 0.5. So that's giving us those elongated reflections. So if I go bring this down to zero, there we go. No more issues. Back to zero. There we go. So very clean uh, look on our very, very basic metal shader.